Hello there. Welcome back to another 1.18 survival video. Off camera, I have been very busy doing various villager shenanigans as you just saw with these three little dudes over here. I went on a massive coal mining trip back over at the Stonut, out here feeling like a coal miner up in the fields, up in the mountains, digging away at all this stuff. And the reason we actually have all this coal is because of these three guys right here. All three of them take coal. And as I was explaining in the last episode, these guys have just been eating up all of my coal. Like I had, I think, two stacks of coal blocks and they just like gobbled up all of them. This will be able to uh, satisfy their appetite for a little while. I would really like to get these guys both up to master because as you can see, even at expert level, they're already starting to sell enchanted diamond gear. These leggings in particular are actually really, really good. Oh yeah, and if anyone was wondering about our little birds that we found in the last episode, I know I kind of left them over in the jungle. Totally my bad. I apologize to the birds for that. I went and I got them back. Say hello to Cheeper and Beeper. <laughs> They're so cute. Look at them. Look at them! At the end of last episode, I kind of teased starting our first mega project, and as you saw by the title of today's video, we are going to be doing just that. But first things first, why don't we kick things into a quick little time lapse and get all of that coal broken down. Wow, I can see my house from here. Mm-hmm. What's poppin' gamer? Uh-huh. Very cheap axes, wow. <laughs> Look at his head. <laughs> Thirty-six levels down the drain. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well, that was fun and all, but let's talk mega projects. Like any other Minecraft mega project, this is gonna take a lot of prep work. Now, the villagers and everything here, the really good source of emeralds, was also kind of a bit of prep work, but the main thing we need to do is, well, first of all, we need to go into the nether and get some wither skeletons. That's right, guys, we are gonna be doing a wither fight today. You guys already know how that wither fight goes, so to, to be honest, I'm not really in the mood to do it legit. So we're just going to be cheesing it, but of course we need to go get the Wither Skeleton Skulls first. I think I already have one over in my starter base. Worth taking a quick little look before we venture on down into the nether. Aha! Okay, we already have one. Now if you're wondering what we need to fight the Wither for, uh, let's just say that this mega project is going to require a lot of digging. And we've done big digging projects before, like in episode 4. If you've been subscribed for a while, you would remember that was my first ever collaborative episode with my friend Protocol. We're gonna need to do a lot more digging today. So let's pop on down to the nether and get a few Wither skeleton heads for our eventual Wither fight. We're all kitted out with our gold helmet, a bunch of torches, our bow, and all that other lovely stuff. It is now time to fly on over to our nether fortress area. I'll meet you guys over there, we'll see what we can do, and uh, let's hope for the best. <laughs> Yeah, hi. Uh, this is Editing Leon. Just want to butt in here and say that you hear all that enthusiasm in my voice, all that excitedness to go, you know, hunt wither skeletons. Um, this was me before I remembered how much I absolutely hate wither skeleton grinding in the nether. Basically, everything I'd hoped for slowly crumbles apart in front of my eyes, and I just lose a lot of faith in humanity. Uh, yeah, have fun. <laughs> the nether fortress in all of its glory. Another thing I do want to try and do while I'm here is uh, do a little bit of terraforming of the nether fortress. You see, oh that is a very big drop, I'm not going down there. Uh, a good portion of this nether fortress is actually in a soul sand valley, which if you didn't know is the like most optimal biome for getting wither skeletons because very few other mobs spawn there. Skeletons and gas pretty much. So if I can do a little bit of flattening out of the terrain over here, that would actually be really fantastic. You can see there's really nothing Nothing here. Might take me a little bit before I get a skull or two, but that's just how it is. I might do something incredibly stupid here and hit a couple of the pigmen just to, you know, decrease the number of entities on screen by a little bit because it's really, really annoying how I just can't get anything to spawn. Yep, <laughs> and there they come. 
Oh lord, they coming. Oh, they still mad. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are mad. Come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Everybody wants me. I know, I know. I get it. There's really nothing here. I might just, like, move. <laughs> yep, screw it. Let's go. We're going for a ride. Oh, there's stuff over- Oh, no, no. That's the same fortress. Because if the- Oh, you know what? Let me turn a fog off. Man, the nether is so different without fog. Jeez. And we got another fortress. Okay, that was quick. Okay, this one doesn't look too great either because it's just, um, you know, in a crimson biome. Not really good for wither skeletons spawning either. Yeah, there is a uh, there is nothing spawning here. So uh, back on the move, I guess. Not a single wither. Oh my god, dude. There is just too many mobs out here. It's 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 a mess. It's actually a mess. It's like I can kill one, but what's the point? They just keep coming back. <laughs> Your aim sucks. Loser. Oh, 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 uh oh, what was that? It's just all pigmen spawning. Like, what the heck? There is. There's nothing here. Uh, let me look around for a third fortress. Ugh. <sighs> Ooh, ooh, we got one right here. Oh, and it's over lava too. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh my god, my luck has turned around. I think. I don't want to jinx it. Spoiler alert. My luck did not turn around. Ooh, man. What a slog that was. Admittedly, I uh, kind of just gave up on recording after a certain point and didn't really capture the footage of me actually getting the wither skeleton skulls. It took a very long time and I was so annoyed and tired. But it's the next day in real life, and I'm back, and I'm ready to keep going with this big project. And as you can see, we finally have two more Wither Skeleton Skulls. And in case anybody is wondering, yes, I did do it legit. I promise you, you can see the evidence of all the time I spent in those various nether fortresses. I collected a good amount of the loot, you know, diamonds, saddles, whole bunch of blaze rods, a ridiculous amount of bones. But I am very, very ready to just leave the nether. I am so tired of this place, so let's pack up our things and let us get out of here. In case you are unfamiliar, uh, we're going to be digging down below the end portal here and basically using this bedrock to trap the wither. It's really weird, and it's very cheesy, and it's very stupid, but when you're too lazy to fight the wither like me, then it's actually a really, really handy technique for saving a lot of time. We've dug underneath our end portal here, and this is entirely bedrock. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be summoning the wither, like, right underneath here. Like, exactly... The base of the wither is going to be right at this obsidian block, and it's going to get stuck in the bedrock, unable to move, and then as long as we can survive the initial explosion when it, like, finishes powering up, we can just sit here and whack it. There you go, the wither can't move. It's a very easy, very cheesy way of killing the wither. It's always a little bit anxiety-inducing, you know? Hopefully we get this right. <sighs> Okay, okay, back up, back up, back up. Alright, alright, and now we just whack it a bunch of times, and then we should be good to go. Yes! Alright, there we go. Well, that was actually very, very simple. I will meet you guys back at spawn. So what do we need this beacon for anyways, you might be wondering? And that's a very, very good question. If we head on over to my industrial district, which I have been very conveniently ignoring for all of this episode, as you guys can probably tell from this gigantic perimeter over here, we are going to be doing a whole lot of terraforming. Let's be honest, right? Like, it was cool having all these farms around in here and stuff, but this place was pretty ugly. All the rocks jutting out and all the gross dirt and diorite and stuff, it was all just Bleh, not not fun. So a while back, I kind of had this, you know, crackpot idea of digging out a giant circle right here, just making each wall flat all the way down to the bottom of our area, which I'm thinking would probably be like 
around this level, I'm thinking. I'm not I'm not exactly sure uh, how far down we're going to take it. It's not going to be going down all the way to bedrock. So uh, don't get any ideas about like legit bedrock perimeters or anything. We're not that fancy. I'm sorry. But it's still going to look really dope. I just want to have this giant depression in the ground, all geometric, cylindrical, I guess. I want to decorate the walls with more farms and like cool steampunky designs and patterns and stuff. And on top of that, we are going to be building a ginormous steampunk inspired storage facility all the way over here to house all of the items that the various farms are producing and of course the farms that we make in the future. I've got big plans for cactus farms, sugarcane farms, maybe even more bamboo farms because that one is a little bit lackluster going into this one giant storage facility that we have right over here. It's going to be really fantastic and I am very very excited to finally put together our first real mega project on this world with our beacon in place and my uh, menagerie of pickaxes all put together here, there really isn't anything stopping us from just, you know, buckling down and starting out this massive digging project. Oh wow, that was a cool save. <laughs> I've got no idea how much digging I'll actually be able to accomplish with just me, but there's only one way to find out, so let's get into it. Wow, okay, that was a whole lot of digging. As you can see, we've gotten a decent bit done. I mean, we've got a little bit over a quarter of it completely dug down to the level that we were looking for. The insta mining has definitely made things a lot, lot easier. However, as you can see, we still have a whole lot more to go. I think we're going to need some additional manpower if we want to take on this whole challenge. Luckily, I know some people who are willing to help. So first of all, thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate uh, all the manual labor you're about to give me, so that's going to be fantastic. That is... That is a big hole. That is a big hole, isn't it? Yeah. But you can just come up to this wall and just like graffiti it. Yo, let's go. It's, it's not, not gonna work on the Why board. <laughs> hey, Damn. doesn't Aether have a, an Electra too? You know, that's a very good question. Does he have an Electra? I'm, I'm not gonna respond to that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I think at one point he might have. Nice feet, by the way. I thought we said no risque. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Yo, look to your left. No, go back to where you were and then look to your left. What? <laughs> Where are you? Oh my god. Oh, hi! <laughs> What's poppin', gamer? Oh, I'm just going straight down. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> have a nice trip downwards. Yeah, like, I, I, I'm not gonna try and have too much of an order to this. I think it's a lot more fun if you just if you guys just go nuts with the pickaxe. Wait, do you know about this llama? Yeah, uh, there's been a wandering trader llama sitting on a cliff for, like, a month. Okay, I'm gonna box him up. <laughs> you can just like push him off. It would be funny. I don't. I don't care. No, I'm saving him. Yay! The game counts them as falling, so they keep building up fall damage the entire time. Ah. So if you have a mob dangling and you don't drop them into water, they will instantly die. Even if it's like it feels a, like a split. Like you do that with like a wither or something. <laughs> Dude, if you can wither. dangle oh. withers on a lead, I would be so happy. <laughs> that would be so sick. So when I fought the Ender Dragon, I tried to MLG water eight times and I died every time. <laughs> very, very bad. In Vault Hunters? Yeah, at a certain point I was like, did, did the mod like make it so you can't do this? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Oh, no. It's just a skill it's issue. Bad. Skill yeah. issue. Don't play oh, everybody's back. But yeah, look at our progress, dude. I know, it's actually ridiculous. I, I don't want to tell you like how many hours it took to do that qu that quarter <laughs> chest opening noises. We do be opening chests. Do you want to hear my idea for a board game? I do. Sure. Okay. Let me kill the skeleton. Wow, that sounds really captivating. <laughs> oh, a creeper! <laughs> it's okay. Oh, no, he, he's helping us mine. Ah, water. 
We're ghost, oh no. ghost water. Where did this come from? Oh, uh, there's more water under here. Ah, uh, we're gonna choose to ignore that for today. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. There was no water under the grass blocks. Smiley face, forehead, smiley face. See, my other idea for a board game was based on the one time I played Fortnite Monopoly of Chris. <gasps> <gasps> Fortnite Monopoly was so much fun. Wait, what's it's that so actually? Good. It's it actually was... cracked. It's like so much more fun than it has any right to be. <laughs> I believe you guys, but now I'm just very, very curious. Basically, it's just Monopoly, but it's PvP. Yeah. <laughs> How do you have PvP Monopoly? It's wild. I, I was just like, I would make a board game that's just Fortnite Monopoly, but fleshed out more. Mm hmm. We also only played it like twice. Like, yeah. I wonder I wonder if it's like actually good or if it like doesn't hold up once we actually look at it. Jack I mean, I think the, way the Fortnite Monopoly metagame. Somebody went to school for game design and got put on Fortnite Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, well, damn, I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to make this the best damn Fortnite Monopoly um, the world has ever seen. Oh, I never uh, recorded a replay of this. Oh, well, it's fine. Zam, Zam, Zaniel. Zam, Zaniel. There are people watching this video who were born after <laughs> Damn Daniel was a meme. Wasn't that like just six years ago, though? Yes. If there are any five-year-olds watching my YouTube channel, turn on parental controls on whatever device you're using to watch this video. Do your brain a favor in the long run and don't watch YouTube at five years old. <laughs> For the glory of Turkmenistan, please. But also, turn don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out. On <laughs> <laughs> your way out. <laughs> the current base in Vault Hunters is literally just a square wall made out of blackstone I mine. And there's not even a floor. <laughs> it sounds like you are living in a cubicle. Bro, I'm a gamer, okay? I don't have time to design. I only have time to game! <laughs> G Fuel majors. <laughs> I don't know what G Fuel to become an addiction. Oi! 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 What happened? What are you doing? I, I witnessed a murder. <laughs> Why are you- why did you take so much damage? <laughs> How did you kill him with the pickaxe? I didn't even like- attacking me! I was, was just sitting like, there, I minding was... my own business, and he hits me. So you I'm like, me please first. sir, I'm a benevolent man. I will ignore your aggressiveness if you just don't hit me again. Then he hits me again. <laughs> yep, so that's what happened. Then, I of course had to hit him, so I know who's boss. <laughs> My goal is to have the gamer cave now be a gamer island. <laughs> I found the source of the phantom water. What was it? There's like a water like, block. Uh, there's multiple water. There's a whole section of water that we just did not was not exposed over here. I think that's the bit that I found earlier and just chose to ignore. <laughs> Where? Yeah. So what's the issue if I flood the entire hole of water? There's no issue. Exactly. So it's a swimming pool. Come on. I want to get rid of this hole here, but there's just random water. Well, not random. It's built into the ocean. So it's actually more like expected water. Expected water. <laughs> I hate it when I'm expecting water. This is definitely me when I'm expecting. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh no! Oh, that, that's Leon. the gamer cave. I, I dug into it. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yeah, I, now I realize why you had that entire section carved out. There is legit just random sources of water. I'm being pranked. Yeah, you are. This is all a prank, bro. You're on camera. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of is. You are on camera right now. Hi. I'm zoomed in on your face. <laughs> I'm zoomed ah. in on you breaking more water. <laughs> Where did it even come from? <laughs> <laughs> I put it there. I mean, no! you've already dug underneath no! the gamer cave. You've dug no! a massive hole in the floor here. Hey, go, go into the gamer cave. I can't. Like, There's go. no way up. Look at the stone, please. I had to use an elytra rocket to get ah! it. <laughs> oh, hi. How you doing? <laughs> What's popping? There's so much water. It's actually insane. Hey, hey, watch this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You see these diamonds I had in my e-chest? Uh-huh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's how it was. <laughs> ben, I appreciate it. Thanks, bro. Where did so you So I was going to toss them in the lava, 
but I forgot I had no bucket to MLG. <laughs> uh, Thank you for the time. Where did you end up? My sign off. All kinds of poultry have to be cooked at different temperatures. So the turducken is a mistake because one of them is going to be dry and or undercooked. Interesting. Good to know. Now you know. <laughs> what a way to leave. I didn't even leave like that. <laughs> <laughs> a lecture about cooking poultry. <laughs> all right. Take care, my dude. Thanks so much for all the help, man. Thanks for having me. I of turned course. on sticky keys. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> Bye bye. Bye. Well, look what we have here. A uh, mostly finished circle. First of all, I just want to say a huge thank you to my friends for being willing to come here and dig with me for several hours. That was really, really great of them. And as you can see, we have done almost all of it. Uh, <laughs> still a little bit missing over there around my storage, which you guys now know as the Gamer Cave. And you know, a little bit down here and, but yeah, check it out guys. This is looking really, really incredible. It is genuinely just a crater, you know, a massive hole in the ground. And I am so incredibly proud of all the hard work that we have been able to do over the past couple real life days, actually. For you guys, it's only gonna be about 20 minutes. For me, it has been many, many hours of digging. As you probably have noticed by now, a lot of my farms now look a little bit strange. I mean, this one's just floating, right? I had built a lot of these into the rock originally, like my smelter, weird backside back here, my bamboo farm, which has another weird unfinished backside, and now a whole bunch of slime spawn here as well, which is kind of cool. I guess I've made a slime farm and uh, didn't even realize, so that's fun, I guess. <laughs> we have made a huge amount of progress digging this out, and I cannot wait to get going with the next couple phases of this mega project in the near future. As always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like down below, and of course, subscribe if you are not already. It really, really helps out small channels like mine, and for that, I am really, really grateful for those of you who are subscribed. Until next time, this has been Leon, and I will see you all in the next 1.18 survival video. Take care, my dudes.